Maybe we should put this in front though, so that people can. Good evening. Good evening. Here with me is Sir Peter Stone, Esquire. And my good friend over here, Mr. Sir Colin Esquire. <laughs> Sir Reverend, the one and Reverend only. Reverend Doctor. The Reverend Doctor, Mr. McDougal. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. With me here is Sir Peter Stone, Esquire. And my good friend over here is Sir Reverend Dr. McGoogle. We haven't even started and we're already off track. We're gonna try to get back on track and get Someone right into better. this. We're gonna get we're gonna get on track right now. Why, why are we even here? Honestly, why are we even here? Peter, I'm, why don't you tell the good people why we're here? Right. Well, friends of the internets. We are here today, we're gathered here today. On another episode of Wankers on Whiskey. Today, we here have a lovely small batch brewed. It's not even brewed. What do you even call it? Distilled. What do you think? I don't even know what they do. What do they do? Yeah, or filtered. Small uh, batch filtered. I don't, it says here non chill filtered small batch. Not only that, it's handcrafted as you would imagine from the triple rye. Triple. <laughs> it's not Where triple. Where did your triple come from? Because there's three, there's three different descriptions in one. There's three. It's, got, it's a three descriptor whiskey, folks. It's a three descriptor whiskey. That's three a descriptor we, Canadian. Whiskey. That's what we commonly refer to. And I just want to just mention one second, really quickly, on what this whiskey is. Colin, would you actually take it away for us? Well, Peter, we can see here Kensip is a uh, product of Prince Edward County. This is uh, Ontario based, so very close to home. Very uh, local. Uh, less than 500 kilometers. Uh, so you know. Sort of close. It, it is close. Um, Forty percent ABV, very standard for any kind of whiskey, uh, unless you're going to later years, in which case your ABV may creep higher to cask strength. Uh, Non-chill filtered means uh, simply that uh, more flavor is often imparted. This is a traditional uh, process that occurs often in a lot of Scotch whiskies and uh, even some blended s Scotch whiskies. I'm surmising that there is some sort of maple involved now, in Now, where would you draw that conclusion from there, Sir Reverend Doctor? Well, you see, Peter, whiskey, after it's initially brewed, is then laid to cask in barrels that can range from all various assortments of woods. In this case, it seems probable, if not likely, that they may have used maple wood in the cast. Maple wood, and you know what gives that away? You know what gives that away? It says right here, maple whiskey. And then, you know, you can pick this up at your local store. You know, whatever store sells whatever you need. Any just local pick, old hooch hole. Hey, just pick it up. It's really good stuff. It says the story of our maple whiskey begins with our 100% Canadian whiskey. It's Canadian, it's all Canadian, dude. You can't get around that fact. That's all you need to know. You just sip it dry, or put in a cocktail, whatever you, whatever your heart desires. Just put on your, your pancakes, your waffles. You could, in fact, brush do that. your teeth with it. There's many resources and uses. Peter, why don't you whip that let's little crack this, gun open? Let's crack this. <laughs> let's let's crack this bad boy open. How do you do that? It's always a bit of a challenge. Peter bites his nails, <sighs> sir. Stone bites I, his nails. I I I eat only sometimes. He has no nails. nails. Get your plastic off my table, you poor. Throw it on the floor like a gentry. <sighs> away from away away. Hi the away to a nunnery crapping. <laughs> Hi the away. You sounded like like an Irish folk color. That's what you that's what you that's what you sounded like. Irish. I don't know why I got that bit of an Irish bit of an Irish tinge to it. I don't know why. This is Canadian, Peter, not Irish. History. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. As you can see here, folks, we have some uh, crystal tumblers ready, coasters naturally, and uh, an extra large ice cube so as to slow the rate of dilution according to the larger surface area of the single cube. There's no other words that could be said that rings truer. I think with this maple, the dilution is going to bring it down to a nice sub 40%. That's really going to open up the nuance and the flavor and the piquant nature of this. So many terms that I, I don't, don't even know understand. what to call it. Let's, let's try a sip of this. Let's try a sip of this, of this kin sip. Splendid, squire. Splendid pour, splendid pour. A little bit of a less splendid pour, but got a little bit excited there. Cheeky pour. 
Well, let's get in there, Peter. Let's get in there. Cheers. Cheers. You know, moderate amber hue. It's, uh, I'm guessing, maybe 10 years. Uh, Canadian whiskeys mm -hmm. usually aren't super old, but uh, with some exceptions. Well, I mean, Canada isn't even that old, so... Yeah, I mean, you is... can't have a whiskey that's older than Canada itself, right? It is a very nice whiskey. First impressions... Nose? Very, very subtle in the, in the, in the maple, but it's definitely there. It's not, it's not, I mean, you can't really smell it. You more, you more taste it. I'll, I'll, uh, give it another try. Yeah, not a lot of strong malt nose on this, but in general, this is not a nosy whiskey on first impression. Very nice, immediate, I'd say it's a delightful whiskey. I have to admit it's, uh, it really delivers. It delivers well, it delivers right, and it delivers true. And it delivers neat or neat-ish with, you know, a little ice or a little water, but you know, no mixing this shit. Don't be a fucking Philistine. <sighs> don't, don't mix this stuff. It comes in small batch. Don't mix it. I mean, it says you can, but just don't, just don't, don't waste it. Don't waste it. Just have it neat. Be a man or a woman or either or both. Just, or just or drink neither. it. Just drink or it neither. on its own, please. Just, just drink it up. Wash your hands. Well, <laughs> brush your teeth, you know. Personal hygiene, just rudimentary laundry. We're getting way off track here. We're giving life lessons, whereas I we digress. are- No, no, we are a whiskey review. We're a professional. <laughs> We're a... We are serious spirit connoisseurs. Exactly, sir. Exactly. And as such, we hold ourselves to the highest standard of conduct imaginable. We only deliver the finest and truest of uh, reviews. Um, I mean, you can take it to heart if you like, or just uh, jog on. Just jog on. Jog on. If that Whatever. Matters. I don't know if that's a term, but it, sh it should be. Closing thoughts, Peter. Closing thoughts. Uh, well worth the uh, the money. I have to admit, it's not too too bad. Although it is, you know, it's only uh, it's only they only come in small. They only come in these bottles, by the way. So you can't get any bigger balls than this. Um, but it's like a personal stash of syrup and scotch in your pocket, like. Yeah, you and you know, can't argue with that. You can't you're argue. Going to a game or a concert, or whatever. Much easier to finish than a 26 ounce bottle. Like, you're limiting yourself. You're setting positive expectations. This will only this will change the way that you drink alcohol. Oh, well, uh, yes. It really will. It truly will, actually. If you've never tried this, I strongly recommend that you try this. Just there's go out no there and go try there's, it. there's no going back once you've tried this, frankly. Everything else will taste like garbage. Proper shit. Proper shite. Colin, what, what, are, your, what are your closing thoughts on this? We haven't even. I mean, guys, we, got, we need to know what Sir Reverend Doctor's thoughts are. We need, to, we need to understand. I feel like I've extolled the manifold virtues of this wondrous elixir, this uh, whiskey, this uh, Gaelic for Water of Life by BT Dubs. Uh, that's where whiskey comes from, in case you didn't know. That's uh, the I'm next probably level. not pronouncing it right, even though I'm Scottish. I don't speak Gaelic, I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm you will fraud. eventually. You will eventually. Um, but you know, that's not what I have my uh, doctorate in, so I can be forgiven for that. I You're think. a doctor of reverence. There's no doubt about it. Closing thoughts, Peter, are this is a tremendous fruit fly attracting uh, whiskey, which is always a good endorsement. So maybe you, we will be attracting fruit flies soon as well. As we're just gonna we leave it open and see what happens. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna leave it open and just see what happens. Um, and on that note, thank you once again for joining us on Wankers on Whiskey. Keep on wanking. Keep on whiskey. That's a spicy meat.